Finding multiple sclerosis coming up next on News Channel 8 at 5.30. Later this month, thousands of people in Connecticut will come together to fight multiple sclerosis one step at a time at the annual MS Walk. News Channel 8's Darren Kramer introduces us to a young Connecticut woman who is battling MS while trying to maintain her freedom. You think we'll get this done today? <laughs> at first glance, this may look like a young woman visiting her grandma at a senior center. It is not. 33-year-old Shannon O'Donnell lives at a Simsbury facility for the elderly and disabled because she has multiple sclerosis. There really is not an ounce of my body that's not been affected by MS. It's totally devastated my whole life. Shannon was symptom-free until 10 years ago. She was 23, taking a shower, getting ready to go to a concert. I was just having a hard time with my balance and um, just, I felt really funny and um, so I called my mother and said I think something's wrong. For a time half her body was paralyzed. At first doctors thought she had a stroke. Tests showed it was MS. Now Shannon's entire right side is weak and numb. She has difficulty walking and writing, swallowing and eating. Freedom is an everyday fight. To give up my dri ability to drive and my ability to work because Having a purpose is very important. I think everybody should have it. Most of us think of MS as having physical effects, which it does, but in some cases the effects can also be cognitive, and together that can be an awfully tough one-two punch. Everything I have to say or want to say is in my head, and it's very clear in my head but it's very difficult for me to get the words out. For Shannon's neighbors who have become friends, their different vintages have become a blessing in disguise. We feel her youth, uh, vitality, uh, there's a different energy level. It was refreshing to have someone young and so full of life. Now, Shannon is preparing her team for the upcoming MS walk to help fight the disease that has so changed her life. Her team name, Dixie, named after her constant companion. She loves me, and so I just thought when I formed my team, I should. It's only natural that I name my team after my biggest fan. Your chance to help Shannon and Dixie solve this ruthless puzzle of MS will be here later this month. In Simsbury, I'm Darren Kramer, News Channel 8. The 2009 Travelers Walk MS will be held Sunday, April 19th at 11 locations around the state. There will also be a walk in Woodstock the following Sunday, April 26th. For more information, come to our website at WTNH.com.